feel like sitting on your hands or whatever, not to worry. I'll assume you like them, even if you don't. <laughs> and this next one was written about somebody that was very, very near and dear to me that uh, I watched go through the throes of Alzheimer's, forgetfulness, and, you know, just fading away. And it reminded me of books that you open. My grandmother used to keep little memories and they'd be dried flowers inside these pages of books. And it was sort of like if a person was a flower, they were drying out like dried flowers of youth. So I wrote this, this one called Dried Flowers of Youth. <coughs> dried flowers of youth pressed between pages, forgotten utterings of ancient sages, a whisper and scream and the drama between life unraveling at the seam. A young man running through early chapters, hobbling toward final ever afters. Slowly, you're slipping and sliding away into that nether world of yesterday, time catching up with her elusive prey. You leave this world more every day. And oh, that I could follow you there and leave behind this worry and care to build with you castles on the beach in that world you visit when you're out of reach. Whispers and memories of your sweet song when you were young, when you were strong, before the years made your bones ache, before your hands started to shake, before you had to be wheeled in a chair, before time left you nothing to spare. Dried flowers of youth are crumbling now, gracing the stage in their final bow. Your frailty of heart will soon set you free, and far, far you fly away from me to a place where streets are paved in gold and dreams cannot be bought or sold, where music never ceases to play. It will call to you softly and take you away. And as you leave this world behind, the best part of me will become 